is blog on TV. Welcome to another episode of Blog on TV where we update you on everything that is going on in the world of entertainment. Sit tight as we take off. Today we are starting with Lala Akindoju, the award-winning actress and director is not too happy with the Actors Guild of Nigeria after members visited Regina Daniels. The Actors Guild of Nigeria, which was led by President Emeka Roles, paid a courtesy visit to new mom Regina Daniels and husband Ned Woko. However, Lala berated the Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, after they shared a video showing their visit. According to her, this is actually shameful. In these times where the Actors Guild should show leadership on pressing issues like navigating the industry with COVID-19, like creating structures to stop sexual harassment in the industry, this is their priority. Even if you visit your member, must you film and post? The videos we need to see should be about the future and safety of practitioners. Yet they abuse us and insist that we join. Sigh. It is shameful because they should use the same energy to do the things that actually move the industry forward. Up next, it's your favorite Zaddy's birthday. Veteran Nollywood actor Richard Mufet Damijo, aka RMD, has shared sizzling hot photos to celebrate his 59th birthday. The actor took to his Instagram page to share dapper new photos of himself and wrote 59 and counting. Grateful, thankful. Hashtag birthday boy. Hashtag 2020. No falling of hand. Happy birthday, papi. We love you. On birthdays, Nigerian singer Skibi took to Instagram to show off the new house he got for his birthday. The singer Abe Elias, famously known as Skibi, went on social media to share pictures of the new house with the caption, Double Celebration Birthday and New Crib. Congratulations to you, Skibi! How do you say booty in your language? Next, Genevieve Adesua Tomi, who is a better actress. This has caused quite a media uproar. This is coming after the release of Jade Osibiru's movie, Sugar Rush, on Netflix, a movie which has Adesua Tomi as the lead character. A few people took to social media to critique Adesua's acting and comparing her with Genevieve Inaji and her movie, Lionheart, who is a better actress. We'll let you be the judge of that. In another story, Nollywood actress Genevieve Naji has been selected as a member of the 2020 class of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. According to the Academy, the 2020 class comprises 45 women, 36 underrepresented ethnic or racial communities, and 49% internationals from 68 countries, as part of its goal to double the number of women and underrepresented ethnic or racial communities. It also noted that if the 819 members accept the invites, agent members of the 2020 class will be allowed voting privileges at the upcoming Oscars. Meanwhile, Genevieve has responded to the invite. In a tweet, the actress thanked the Academy, saying she was honored to be a part of the family. Congratulations to Genevieve. Gideon Okeke, a Nigerian actor, has called on the federal government to abolish the extant state of origin in the country because of its damage to national development. In a lengthy post on his social media page, the actor wondered why such initiative would exist in a country that claims to be one. According to him, state of origin promotes divisions among the country's different ethnic groups. He also went further to state that it celebrates lines, borders, race, us versus them, our strength is in our diversity. Yes, but it has taken so long to prove this right. Abolish state of origin today for national peace. Hmm, wise words.
Naira Mali has promised to gift 1 million Naira to actor Jude Chukuka for singing his song word for word. The veteran actor became an internet sensation over the weekend when he voiced Naira Mali's song Mafo, word for word. This attracted the singer to begin a lunch for him when found, Naira Mali tagged him Elder Malian while promising to bless him with a million Naira. Hmm, nice one. Moving from million to billions, billionaire businessman Femi Otedola plays host to his daughters, Florence Otedola, better known as DJ Copy, and Tammy alongside musician Mr. Easy in his London home. Mr. Otedola, DJ Copy, Tammy, Mr. Easy have all been in the United Kingdom since the coronavirus induced lockdown. The former Forte Oil owner shared a video of their time together recently on Instagram. In the video, all four of them observe social distancing in their sitting positions with face masks on, although the subject of their conversation could not be detected. Look who came to visit me yesterday, at Timmy Otedola, at Mr. Easy, at Copy Music, he captioned it. Next, Nigerians are not worth fighting for, says Peter Okoye as he slams those hating on him. Recall last week, the musician revealed that he and his family tested positive for coronavirus. However, social media users did not buy the story as they claimed the singer was doing this all for clout and his forthcoming album, The Prodigal. Mr. P, in a recent interview with OAP Dad Freeze, stated that he doesn't care about what is being said about him on the internet. He bragged about being rich for life even if he doesn't work anymore and he hinted that he has given up on Nigerians because they are not worth fighting for. Kanye West said he's running for president in the 2020 US election, an apparent challenge to go head to head with President Donald Trump. We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision, and building our future, West tweeted. I'm running for president of the United States. Hashtag 2020 vision. West tweeted his plans days after teasing a new song and announcing a new album titled God's Country. Fans immediately tweeted their support for the musician and business mogul who has a history of promoting himself and his projects with political statements. So far, it doesn't appear West has any intention of actually running for president. With the election only four months away, West still needs to register with the Federal Election Commission, present a campaign platform, collect enough signatures to get on the November ballot and more. He has already missed the deadline to file as an independent candidate in many states. Still, he has garnered at least one notable endorsement. Tesla CEO Elon Musk, who was recently photographed with West, responded to his tweet with, You have my full support. Kim Kardashian West also retweeted her husband's announcement with an American flag emoji. Sean Diddy Combs is not looking too good since being quarantined inside his Beverly Hills mansion for the past four months. And new pics obtained by MTO News show just how he's aged in just a few months. The multi-millionaire hasn't been able to get his typical spa treatment. He also hasn't been able to get his hair or beard dyed. And when you look at the side-by-side -side pics of Diddy from February, the difference is striking, so much so that Diddy began trending on Twitter. I don't know about you guys, but I think he's still looks good for more interesting stories check us out on youtube at blog on tv and that's all for today folks until next time stay real which one we say which one we say you know if you trust person like me oh, like God. that Shake me. Which one you say? Which one you say? You know what? Come give me, give me your heart. Oh, Lily. Spare out. Nice to meet ya. Betty Bob. Say you can have my daughter. Make we link up later. Oh. Betty Bob. He go shock you like this. When you go see the wire. Yeah. When you enter. Which one you say? Which one you say? You know if you trust person like me like that, yeah. So tell me how was I to know? Which one you say? Which one you say? You know if you trust person like me like that, yeah. So tell me how was I to know? Which one you say? Which one you say? You know if you trust person like me like that, yeah. So tell me how was I to know? Which one you say? Which one you
come you say you know what can give me give me your heart baby i'm never letting go nice to me Betty, but I am not a man, but I go spray you down. I'm a beast, dripping water. 